the new City Edition uniforms just dropped, so I'm gonna buy the Steph Curry uh, new City Edition jersey. These are selling out quick, so here you go. Really cool, and I'm gonna buy that. Definitely sick. All right, guys, so today I went to the Chase Center in San Francisco, home of the Warriors, and I got the brand new City Edition jersey. Uh, I love this one. You have the lightning bolt on the side. I got Curry, of course, because, you know, he's great. Um, I love this jersey. You can see the little reflective 75th anniversary uh, NBA logo, as well as the reflective 3D Nike logo right here. Um, the jersey itself is pretty simple. You know, it's just the Warriors, you know, main logo. Um, if you look closely, you can actually see it on the logo that has like kind of the Oracle Arena ceiling pattern. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I love the Nike logo reflected for the 75th anniversary, but overall this jersey is pretty simple. Um, and uh, I love the lightning bolts on the side uh, for the We Believe era. I like that a lot. You have one there and then you have one on the other side as well. Um, but yeah, overall a great jersey. Um, you know, great to add it to my collection because, you know, I love to get all the Warriors jerseys. 75th anniversary of the NBA and uh, definitely a great jersey. So yeah, here it is, the black Warriors jersey. Yeah, very cool. So uh, yeah, there you go. All right, guys, I got an item here from eBay. Um, yeah, so let's open this thing up. Here it is. As you can see, it's a flag, San Jose Sharks flag. Wow, it's a big one. So I got this flag from eBay. It is the vintage logo of the Sharks, as you can see with the old teal. Um, I really like this when I saw it and it was only like $15. So I was like, why not? Um, most of my ceiling and wall are filled up, but I do have room on the ceiling over here. So I'm gonna fill this up with flags. Um, but I thought the Sharks would be a great addition. As you can see, I love that. I actually don't have a Sharks flag yet. Uh, so now I do. Um, but yeah, there you go. San Jose Sharks. It's three foot by five foot. So it's really big. Um, but why not? You know, it's really cool. So yeah, there you go. Here is what the Sharks flag looks like up here on the ceiling. It looks good. It's bold. Takes up a lot of room. And uh, yeah, it looks nice. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, I got a package here. So let's open it up. All right, here we go. Pretty, ooh, looks nice, looks nice, all right. Okay, so what I have here is a 47 brand item. This is a 47 sweater of the Oakland Seals. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, so, you know, obviously the Seals are defunct. They're an NHL team uh, from Oakland that, you know, obviously they're defunct now. Uh, but I love that, you know, 47 brand, they make some awesome merchandise. They're like one of my favorite brands uh, for sports stuff. Um, Oakland Seal stuff is cool. I have a couple hats for them, quite a few of them. And uh, I like the striping, you know, they kind of introduced dark blue to their color, um, you know, palette at the end of their uh, tenure in Oakland. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I like this though, you know, it definitely looks cool. It's a sweater, you know, it's, it's good quality. Uh, I got a good deal on it as well, you know, 47 stuff normally isn't cheap but i got this at a resale value uh so that was pretty cool you know vintage hockey it's it's definitely cool stuff um and i feel like i could wear this with shark stuff if i really wanted to it's just a nice you know cream color so it goes well with stuff love that oakland seals sweater that's awesome all right guys i got a package here from so fresh clothing and it's kind of like a hat club they do uh like custom hats which are really cool so i got one that i really liked so let's open this thing up, which is nice. So an Oakland Oaks hat um, with, there you see it, a baseball um, with an acorn and the minor league baseball logo on the back. So this was a minor league uh, baseball team from Oakland long before the A's were in town. Um, this is a very nice colorway. It's kind of like the brown and then the tan uh, crown with, the logo is really nice as well. It's like green outline with a, uh, you know, an acorn throwing the ball. And uh, not to be confused with the Oaks basketball team, they were different, but they had the same names and kind of similar logos, the acorn concept. Um, but that's really cool. I was one of the last people to get this before it sold out. It was selling out you know, instantly and I jumped on it and got it. You have the tan underbrim, so it's really nice. Um, definitely a cool hat to have because it's kind of obscure. You don't see something like this too often. But uh, yeah, there you go, Oakland Oaks hat, really nice. All right guys, I got a new package here uh, from eBay, so let's open this thing up. So, what I have here is a flag. This is a Warriors flag this time. And this is the Oakland City Edition, matches the shirt, obviously. Uh, really cool flag though. 
Oakland. Um, I've kind of been, you know, obsessed with flags lately because my uh, ceiling is pretty um, unoccupied right now. So I have room. So this is an Oakland three foot by five foot flag. Um, it has the W and it says, we believe on the yellow part, um, kind of tributing those jerseys. Really cool though. I uh, love that and I'll get that up on the ceiling. So yeah, there you go. All right, so here's what my new Warriors flag looks like. It is uh, near the other flags I have. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. You have the Oakland, we believe, with the W for Warriors. Just looks really good. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll fill up the rest of the space with some more, so yeah. All right, guys, I got a really cool Raiders jersey I wanna show. So yeah, number 16, Mitchell and Ness jersey, Jim Plunkett, obviously one of the greatest Raiders quarterbacks up there with Ken Stabler as an all-time great, two-time Super Bowl champion for the Raiders, once in Oakland and once in LA. Uh, you know, all time great. And to get a jersey like this, it's pretty awesome. It's Mitchell and Ness. Uh, they have a lot of the good throwback players for the Raiders. It's just the home jersey, number 16. So, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, you do have a little on the jock tag, you have 1980. So uh, his first Super Bowl, the Raiders second Super Bowl uh, year. And uh, it's a throwback. So you got that little thing on the tag there. Yeah, Plunkett, number 16. I mean, I've been wanting a Plunkett jersey for a while because I'm trying to get as many Raider Hall of Famers I can. Um, I have Stabler, I have, you know, a lot of good players. So to add this one to it, it's really cool. Love this. Jim Plunkett, number 16, Raiders jersey. So today I was at Lids and I got a couple of caps. So I'm gonna show them now. So the first one I got was this really cool 47 brand Oakland A's vintage looking hat. Uh, it's really cool. It has the Swingin' A's logo, has Oakland on the top, athletics obviously. I like this build. It's a 47 hitch adjustable um, with a yellow under uh, brim. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, they had some for other teams too, and I like the basic design. I mean, I have some similar hats, but I think I like the build of this a lot. Uh, and the color's great. The Swingin' A's logo is something I don't have too much of on hats, so that's really cool. That was the first one. The second one was really cool as well. It's a San Jose Sharks 47 uh, snapback in Raiders colors. Uh, basically, you know, kind of a mashup. I don't know if that was intentional by 47, but it's really cool though. Raider colors, and the Sharks, uh, that's something I really like. Uh, yeah, 47. So they're both 47 branded, but uh, yeah, this one's a different build. This one's a 47 captain. I love that. I mean, it looks really good. It's going to be look, uh, good to wear with the stealth jersey. So yeah, there you go. Two hats from Lids. Oakland A's, Swing and A's hat. And then you have the San Jose Sharks 47 brand in Raiders colors, silver and black. That's really cool. So yeah, there you go. All right. So today I bought something really cool. It was from like a street vendor. So like nothing official, but this is a Warriors little painting and uh yeah has you know the really good team from a couple years ago kevin durant draymond curry clay and demarcus cousins and i thought that's really cool i mean it's four by six so it'll you know not take up too much room but it's really cool warriors you know you love to see that it's just you know really cool art to have and i'll put that up somewhere but i really like that it is uh you know all the really good players so yeah there you go really cool little painting all right i have a really cool little item here this is a raiders mini helmet with the 1960s logo as you can see um i actually have the mini helmet with the current logo but i thought it'd be cool to get this one as well i really like that logo that they have kind of from the afl days really really cool um and i you know one of my favorites for sure it's just the traditional mini helmet you know in the box and whatever so yeah it's really cool as you can see i like that a lot and uh yeah there you go all right guys i have a really interesting raiders jersey i thought i would show this is a number eight marcus mariota jersey obviously the backup quarterback for the raiders personally one of my favorite quarterbacks um just because you know he's on the raiders but i think he's really athletic really good quarterback i've been watching this guy since college and you know although he's the backup I thought, you know, it's a cool jersey to have. It's kind of quirky. It's not something you traditionally see. And um, I think in a perfect world, he'd be our starting quarterback. This is my opinion. But, you know, yeah, really cool jersey. Number eight, it's the away jersey um, and Mariota. So pretty traditional. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It's the, uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, what you normally see out of a Raiders jersey. But, yeah, Marcus Mariota, you don't see that too often, though. And uh, I really like that. So that's really cool. And, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, I got a package here from eBay, so let's open this thing up. So I got a couple flags here. First one is an Oakland A's flag. Let's open this thing. See what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Nine times World Series champions with 
all of the World Series dates up on the top and uh, the Oakland A's logo on the bottom. I love this because it really shows all of our titles, not just in Oakland, but all of the titles ever since we played in Philadelphia. Uh, so all nine of them on here, really cool. I'm gonna put this on the ceiling along with the other flags I've recently uh, gotten. So yeah, there's the first one, Oakland A's flag uh, with all the World Series on it. So yeah, there's the first. And let's open up the second one. Okay, so basically what I have here is similar to the A's flag. It has all the Super Bowls. So Super Bowl champions, and then the three years, 1976, 83, and 1980. And then the really cool thing is it has some cool logos on it. So you have the Oakland Raiders original logo, then you have the O.Co. Coliseum, like where they played, and then the 50th anniversary logo. So, you know, kind of a vintage flag a little bit. And then you have the helmet logo, it's really cool. So, you know, all these flags are, I've gotten are really cool and I like how they represent the championships. Um, and uh, yeah, I love that a lot. So there you go, two flags, both representing all of the championships my teams have won, A's and Raiders. So yeah, there you go. Here is what the Raiders flag looks like. Pretty cool. I put it next to the Sharks one, but it's facing the other direction above the hat wall. And then here is the A's one, nine times World Series champions. Looks really cool. And uh, yeah, glad to have these. All right, guys, I went to Lids today and I got a really cool A's hat. So yeah, here it is. So basically, this is a metallic gold, black and gold A's hat with a really cool silver and gold 1989 World Series patch. Last one in my size, this hat is limited. It's sold out online. It also has a gold under visor and then the black and gold Batterman logo. I really like this, you know, they do really cool colorways at Lids um, lately. And you know, this one was really cool. Caught my eye for sure. It'll go with stuff. So that's really cool. I love that World Series patch for sure. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be wearing this one a lot. Very limited. Um, so I knew I had to get it before it sold out for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, really cool. Love that under brim, awesome logo. And then of course the patch. So yeah, there you go. All right, so I was in Sacramento for the Kings game and I will show the stuff I got at Sacramento. So the first thing, really cool, is this Sacramento River Cats hat and minor league patch on the side. So for those of you that don't know, the River Cats are a local AAA team. Uh, they're actually the AAA team of the Giants. So you might be wondering, why would you get a Giants affiliated team? Well, they used to be the uh, affiliate of the A's and I'm a big fan of the city of Sacramento. This hat was cheap, so I thought, why not? Got it at Lids, um, minor league. I like the colors of it. It's black, red, and gray. And you know, they had my size. I wish they were still uh, the A's uh, farm team, but you know, it's they're still cool no matter what. Uh, big fan of that logo, really cool River Cats. Obviously Sacramento is known for its rivers and a uh, really cool name with it. So yeah, River Cats logo. I like that logo and the font. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. And then the second thing is kind of interesting. So for those of you might thinking, you know, why do you have a Detroit Lions hat? Well, I'm a big fan of Jared Goff. He went to Cal, I met him one time. Um, got his autograph. I got a Rams hat with this. So I got a Jared Goff stitched in signature. You can pay like 15 extra dollars at Lids to get it stitched in. Um, and I, I, I like Lions hats and logos overall. So really cool logo. Um, the, the main component is the Jared Goff. I have a Rams version of this. I actually have an autographed Cal hat um, of this. So I thought, you know, it's cool. So yeah, there you go. Goff uh, signature on the side stitched in and in the silver and blue colorway, and then the River Cats hat. So yeah, there you go. 